morning everyone and welcome back to Meister Tarot. I hope you are all fabulous on this beautiful day outside. Um, what I want to have a look at today is uh, the agreements between Russia and China recently. Sorry, I'll just get my grab my decks over that I want to use. Um, so, been in the news a bit lately about uh, Russia's request to China supposedly supposedly information purposes only uh, entertainment purposes only supposedly supposedly uh russia requested um some military aid from china which china denied so i just want to have a bit of a look into uh what's going on over there at the moment as a bit of a background uh, the russia and china had entered a fairly vague agreement back in 2001 I uh, can't remember the name of it, didn't write it down, but in 2001 they entered a 20-year agreement which has now expired. So in January of 2022, before the Beijing Olympics, um, Vladimir Putin uh, flew into China and met uh, for uh, uh, agreement talks with um, Xi Jinping, which is the leader of China at this stage. Uh, at which both of them declared a new era and endorsed territorial ambitions of each country. So that would be Taiwan for China and uh, Ukraine for Russia. Now I have recently read on Taiwan and it is reflective of um, what I'm talking about today. So if you're curious, go back to that reading. Uh, they declared that they would stand together against the West and they would become alliance um, partners in security space climate. AI and internet amongst other things. Now, what happened since um, Russia invaded Ukraine is that um, stories are now coming out that the Russians are using outdated and inaccurate weaponry, um, some from the 1970s, uh, possibly even earlier. Um, the they seem to be losing a large number of heavy machinery like tanks, etc. Um, and they are running out of fuel and food for their troops, apparently, allegedly. This is the um, information we're getting out of Ukraine and we do know the propaganda happens on both sides. So uh, it, it is what appears to be happening. I have read on the Russian supply chain uh, just the other day. So again, go back and have a look if you want to have some further uh, deep diving into that. So now yeah, China is apparently now wanting to appear neutral and uh, encourage peace talks uh, between Ukraine and Russia. Uh, in the UN vote, it abstained from voting to either support or um, decry against Russia. Uh, China also is denying being asked by Russia for assistance in the last few weeks. Um, so what I want to have a quick look at is and also the Chinese state media interestingly enough is now starting to report on Ukraine civilian losses uh, one that came to my attention today was on the uh, state media Twitter account was no photographs or anything like that it was just a blurb about uh, the Ukrainian citizens that were shot and killed while waiting in the in the line for the bakery it happened the other day. So there's a few questions that I want to have a quick look at. Um, the first of all, is Russia really running out of equipment? Um, was China actually asked? Will China help? And if they do, will there be sanctions? If they do help, will there be sanctions against China? Now, in my reading the other day that was about uh, China and Taiwan, uh, it very clearly indicated that the reaction of the West is was totally unanticipated by China and Russia, uh, and so therefore um, China has stepped back because uh, it ha there was a belief that um, amongst those circles that the West was disjointed, it wasn't unified, they were in fighting, etc. But this um, invasion of Ukraine has uh, shown a very different story. Uh, try and fix my wobbly table. <laughs> one day, one day I shall build a house that has a dedicated office for my tarot reading. That would be nice, wouldn't it? 
Okay, so what I want to have a look at first of all is Ukraine actually running out of um, weapons, military equipment? Is Russia running out of military equipment? Just move that microphone slightly closer. So I'm using today my um, mystical manga cards. They're what I use for these sorts of readings, political readings, etc. Tell me, is Russia running out of military equipment? Oh, flinging out at me. Uh, that's telling me yes. Page of Swords, a message of truth coming forward out of that. The Strength card also popped out, which was interesting. I don't know if it, it sort of tried to pop out, but didn't really. I think it might have just gotten caught up in the page, which is about taking control and inner strength. So, is Russia real? Is, is there any truth to the reports that Russia is running out of military equipment? Is there any truth to the reports that Russia is running out of military equipment? Right, let's have a look. Okay, what you've got here is the hoarding card. So this is about insecurity, protecting what you've got, hoarding. So this would indicate probably yes, uh, the truth is moving on. Agreements and the Queen of Swords. Oh, okay. And the Ten of Cups, which is a, a, an ending. It's a happy families, democracy. Um, But being attended is also an ending. Okay, and base of the pack is Hierophant, the government. Going back to the past, naivety. Naivety and then conflict and infighting. Death. And again, uh, can mean new beginnings, but in this particular death, the fool means being foolish. Okay, so we'll tackle those in a moment. What we're looking at here is telling me, yes, it is very much about insecurity, protecting, hoarding what you do have, uh, money as well as equipment. They are seeking uh, equipment from elsewhere. They thought they had a partnership. They don't look particularly happy <laughs> in this partnership. They thought they had a partnership. But the truth is starting to bite. So you've got the Queen of Swords who is direct and perceptive. Um, and she brings forward this um, sort of truth with the feminine energy. So I think what's happening is the truth is hitting home um, in regards to uh, the offer that they thought, the relationships they thought that they had on the table, which... Uh, are not coming to fruition and they have asked they have asked from the looks of that the fool which means foolishness death which is uh, an ending uh, <laughs> there is no other way of saying that uh, an ending major reform authentic reform loss now I'm asking from Russia's point of view, conflict, naivety in the government. There was a naivety in the trust of the government. Okay, so what I want to have a look at yet was, did Rush so yes? They are struggling with their arms. I'll use... I'll, race through these questions with these cards and then I'll ask similar questions with my uh, intuitive cards because they seem to tell very good stories. So was China asked by Russia? China is denying it. Russia's not saying anything. Did Russia ask China for military assistance? Ooh, flinging out everywhere. 
So we've got the murky underbelly uh, bringing things to the surface, needing to be exposed. Ah, uh, howling at the moon is another way of this being looked at in regards to the partnerships. They had a naivety in regards to um, their belief and walking away from what is no longer serving. Anxiety. So the cards that jumped out were these three. These next two were on the bottom of the pack. So that's telling me yes, and they got the cold shoulder. So howling at the moon, things needing to be exposed or things coming to the surface. And naivety in regards to the relationships that one party is walking away from. So will China eventually help Russia? Will China eventually, now I'm talking in regards to the military here, I'm not talking in regards to finances or uh, fuel, fuel purchasing or anything like that, goods purchasing. I'm talking purely about the military. So will China at some stage help Russia with their military equipment? China at some stage help Russia with the military equipment. So I've got the hanged man and they're not. This is sacrificing on the base loss and heartbreak but I'll keep going will China eventually help Russia in regards to military equipment Hurry up and stop shuffling. <laughs> okay, got my Biden card, which is interesting. The Biden card or the King of Cups. Uh, possibly not Biden in this one. I'll keep going with it. But the King of Cups is the diplomat. Calm, emotionally balanced. The peacekeeper. Okay. Rejecting an offer that is being made. Oh, here's this sacrifice again and actions and consequences. Knight of Swords, a harsh truth coming forward, working away, walking away from what's no longer serving them. So the short answer in that is that or the <laughs> The convoluted answer is uh, China did ask, uh, sorry, Russia did ask China. China has gone, yeah, nah, and they are repositioning themselves. Next card was the Ace of Cups, a new relationship beginning. Base of the pack, the two, which is um, making plans on the global stage. And then the world. So making plans on the global stage as new boundaries are being set. And then we have normally my Putin card, but I'm thinking this is Xi Jinping in this particular instance. Uh, the Emperor is very much um, about my way or the highway, the patriarchal power, which is very much in play in China uh, with the temperance card which is about rebalancing and and um, moderation so the Chinese government are wanting to reposition themselves on the world stage to appear more moderate and balanced 
as new boundaries are set on the world stage and as China makes plans to be in this new order. So looks like it's tough bickies for Russia. Interesting. So, and I think that's where the sacrifice comes in is that China is literally throwing Russia under the bus after what they saw happen um, with the West in regards to the invasion of Ukraine. So I'm going to ask similar questions using my... Uh, oh, just split them and I got minus a celebration. Minus a celebration. So I'll ask similar, similar questions and see what the story unfolds. In regards to... Are the Russian military running out of equipment? Are the Russian military running out? Now, they, the, there is speculation, this is entertainment purposes only, but there is speculation that that's why some of these properties are being hit that weren't necessarily targeted because the equipment is old and doesn't have the targeting devices. But I'll just I'll see what the story comes out of. The Russian military running out of equipment. Okay, see what the story tells us. I'll just bring this a little bit further down and oh, no, it doesn't want to. I'm trying to find an optimum <laughs> viewing. Oh, base the pack was rulers. Okay, let's see what to say. Up, oh, stop. Yep, very much so. Stop. The rule plus confusion. Confusion, convoluted, mail being struck down. The sun, freedom. Happy, trust is going down as a leap is being made. Okay, this is interesting. On the world stage, the balancing in minus abundance is in the messaging. Celebration, unity, alien, large. Peace and science. Contracts are empty. Ooh! Ooh! In regards to the conflict. Okay. Let us see what this story tells us. So this, the question was, is the Russian military running out? This is telling us a bit more than that stopping of the rulers because of the confusion and men the men dying there's actually it's more than just the military they're actually running out of possibly troops on the ground full illumination and freedom that brings happiness and trust is going down as as uh a leap of faith is being made on the world stage the balance justice justice balance I'll pull another card on that one whether it's justice or balancing okay on the world stage the rebalancing in what is happening is being shown up by the um, lack of abundance so this is a no abundance minus abundance and the messaging is getting out there the celebration in regards to unity and diversity is alien and is, this is large looming large in the peace talks but the science so the science okay so the contracts are empty in regards to this conflict so the contract between china and russia is empty 
in regards to the military equipment. Tell me a little bit more, please, about uh, the Russian military running out of equipment. In the balance of the world stage, the abundance in Ukraine of this equipment is, is they're losing a lot of equipment. And the message of such is getting out there. But tell me about this second line. Tell me about this second line. Tell me a little bit more about this second line. The peace and the happiness and the trust going down with the leap. The trust in the rulers is going down. After losses on the ground. But tell me a little bit more. Tell me a little bit more. A little bit more. Right, the the greed and abundance and the uh, lifestyle, go, magic, comfort, secrets are full. Oh, okay, right, I'm getting it now. So the... The messaging that's getting out is in regards to the how do I word this the luxury um, indulgence that was happening and the magic of comfort that that uh, they shared the secrets are getting out in full about the ruler blank page it's not been written yet to the people and the families in the country, growth, health is the key. Base of the pack is, they're saying no to the money and the strength. It's bullseye on the murkiness and the poverty. Okay, so... They do tell a story, I do warn you, they do tell a story, but it is basically telling the story here of um, what I'm getting is that the conditions that the soldiers are living in and the equipment they have is not, uh, not adequate. The food they're eating is not adequate. The equipment they're using is not adequate. And it's getting out there that the rulers who have been living this hoity-toity life of abundance and luxury um, is not going to be no longer. The, the message is getting out in regards to it. And the people and the families are not happy about it. Okay, let's have a quick look. While their sons are being struck down in Ukraine with substandard equipment and substandard conditions, uh, they're basically bivouacking uh, under tarpaulins. The food apparently that has been captured is decades out of date. Um, peace, all they want his peace. All the people want is peace. They just want it to... Oops, got some cards flipped over here. All they want it is just both in Russia and um, Ukraine. However, the truth is getting out there. The secrets are being told. The contract is not... As the contract that the rulers thought they had is not holding up. But anyhow, quickly was China, did Russia actually ask China for military assistance? Did military food assistance, did Russia actually ask China for military food assistance? Did Russia ask China for military food assistance? Oh, 
peace yes please health is the key it's empty at the moment the conflict is empty poverty overseas divided divided country people dark cloud abundance loyalty plus drop in the ocean fear loss yet to be written stop the science in yes trust trust male alien interesting okay so for the sake of peace and and health life the, this is the key at the moment um china did they ask china for the ha for help russia is empty in regards to this conflict and it comes down to they just it's, it's poverty in the nation the overseas so this will be china is divided about um what's going on in the country the people the mob the masses are aware of this dark cloud and the abundance loyalty plus, uh, the loyalty is mere okay the loyalty is but a drop in the ocean Russia's been caught out as the coffers are empty. But China hasn't decided fully yet. They are stopping scientific assistance, which is the internet, etc. In, uh, in, within China. Okay, so they're stopping within China. Uh, to try and gain the trust of the patriarchy alien full I'll just see what this alien is full illumination full growth China is finding it a alien to give full illumination but it is doing so which will lead to transformation Out, house fast, home fast. Okay, so it's outing on the domestic front quickly about the, the wealth that is intertwined. Unity is slow. So fast, okay. It's very tricky, this one. Hard work on the world stage by the rulers in regards to rebalancing this indulgence and it and they are flipping it is being flipped. <sighs> I think the major card in this was where did I have it? Was it this reading? No, it was the previous reading, was the blank card. It's not actually been written. What I've got is China. <laughs> it might sound a little convoluted when I look at that. The Russian coffers are empty. The Russian coffers are empty. Um, and I am getting that they have asked for help. China has basically said peace is the key. To this now empty conflict. China wants to be the peace negotiator. Isn't that interesting? Entertainment purposes only. China wants to be the peace negotiator. In regards to that, it is what not wanting to see itself as a ugly uh, oligarchy type uh, it fears China fears that Russia is exposing 
domestically its own faults in regards to oligarchs, uh, wealth, poverty and loss. Um, and it's trying to mitigate that. So this is interesting. Okay. Will China actually help in the future? I'll try to be a little bit quicker with this one. Will China actually help Russia in the future? Will I won't put in what way. Will China actually help Russia in the future? Sorry, I'm in a chair today with arms on it. I tend to lean when I've got a chair with arms. Not good. Will China actually help Russia in the future? Okay, very quickly. Unhappy about the abundance. Unhappy about how, not written yet, Transformation. Okay. Out with the fear. Money loss is being rebalanced. And there is anger about this unity that's going on between families. Down communications okay on the base we have magic magic go health smiley face and yes so out of that I'm getting no they're not going to help Russia in the future they are repositioning themselves on the world stage Russia is not happy. Okay, if you've got any questions, pop them in the comments below. And as per my little snippet on Saturday that I let out, um, on Thursday, my time, Wednesday, uh, US time, Danny Shea and I, Danny from Bathrobe Tarot, will be doing a collaboration. I'm so excited. So if you've got any questions that you want answered between Danny and myself, uh, we'll try and keep it a light-hearted reading, so please put them in the comments below. I shall catch you later. Take care, stay safe. That was quite an interesting convoluted reading today. Okay, catch you later. Bye-bye.